Hi, I'm Mike. Today on the project list, we fight the rain as we continue trying to get the high tunnel closer to completion, one little step at a time. We're also going to check in with Aaron and see how the delays are affecting planting and the gardening in general. It's all coming up on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome to our Wyoming life, and this is the project list. And the high tunnel build continues, kind of. The past four or five days of rain has really slowed us down. It's gotten Erin into a bind as she has plants ready to go and get into the new building. And a little bit later, we're gonna check in with her and see what kind of problems the rain delays are causing her. But first, we're gonna head into what we've gotten done this week and where we are now. All the ribs for the high tunnel are now up and tied in with purlins, although not completely. There are five that run the entire length of the building and three of the five are complete. We start today by adding another 10 foot purlin, measuring and clamping each one into place. The four lower purlins are easy to line up because they all fall right on a seam where we assembled and screwed the ribs together. However, the top purlin is a little trickier because there's no guide for us to follow. The only way to find the center is by measuring it, and once we find that, we can run the support pieces down the 72 feet of the tunnel. After the purlin pieces are in place, we can then do a string line to line them all up with, straightening them all out as we go and getting ourselves a straight line. As we pack up, Erin gives her sign of approval. Next up on the list is bringing in dirt and manure and getting the soil ready to plant. But with spring storms starting to roll in and stop construction altogether, we're stuck for a few days. I remember in a former life when rain was always an inconvenience. But in our new life, rain is a blessing. We take it when we can get it. And although it tends to stall some projects or even slow them down, without it, we don't have any hay to feed the cows this winter. So it's always a trade-off. Of course, there are certain jobs that need done rain or shine, like feeding bottle calves their bottles. And the cows want their cake, no matter how much rain is falling. Erin has moved all of her tomato plants, which are scheduled to be in the ground by now, out to the garage for sunlight and to start getting them hardened off with a little bit of wind. I know that she's getting frustrated by the delays in the high tunnel. The whole gardening situation is really frustrating right now. Everything is way behind, the outside gardens aren't planted, and tomatoes usually have been in the ground for close to two months at this point. They're all really tall and leggy, and the leaves are thin because they are suffering from a lack of sunlight lately. The rain is great for the ranch and far more important than sunlight and dry weather for my garden, but we could just use a few days of dry, sunshiny weather so that hopefully we could get back on track with the high tunnel and that I could get the rest of the outside gardens planted. And today, the rain continues off and on, and we can take advantage of any dry spell that we can get to get some more work done on the project. We can install our ground anchors. These turnbuckles attach to the anchor that we have already concreted into the ground. They bolt into our post and are adjustable and they'll keep the wind load from moving the frame of the high tunnel. Installing them is pretty straightforward. After attaching the turnbuckle to the anchor in the ground, we use the length to measure where the hole is gonna be attached to the frame and where we need to drill it. A 3 8 inch hole is drilled through the pipe frame and the turnbuckle is bolted to the frame. Now the soil is very soft from all the rain, so we're not going to over tighten the turnbuckles yet until we know the ground is solid and the anchor is firmly in place. Now we just do that 16 more times. As the rain begins to fall again, I guess we're going to go back into the planting stage. Manure and topsoil will be brought into the till in with the existing soil in the high tunnel. Baseboard and sideboards will be installed and end walls will be built. Lumber is delivered just in time today to do nothing with it, but that's okay. The rain is supposed to be stopping tomorrow and then we can really get rolling, we hope. 
Rain can be a blessing and a curse. Yeah, it slows things down and sometimes even stops work, but without it, the ranch wouldn't exist. A lot of what we do is a trade-off, and that's the name of the game. In the end, we hope that work can resume quickly and the rest of the high tunnel can get done. I'll feel better putting it behind us, and I know that Erin will too. Although for her, it means many more hours of work after my part of the job is done. Don't worry though, I'm sure I'll be in there working as well. Hit subscribe and keep following us on this crazy journey we're on. Explore the ranch life with us and escape the ordinary three times per week. And just so you don't miss out on anything, try hitting that bell button so you get notifications when a new video is available. We've got plenty more on the way. Things are about to heat up around here. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna start branding and that's just around the corner. Then it's time to start in, to jump into haying and I hope you can come along for all of it. Until next time, have a great week. And thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.